You'll okay. Go, you'll go over here, but you'll be on the other side of the interstate when you come down here. Believe it or not, which is kind of a coincidence, I'm really actually on the Shunga. Again, I'm all... It seems like I can't get off the Shunga. I don't know what the hell's going on. Now, so tell me where the Shunga Creek used to be here. It used to be at the bottom of the hill here. Okay. They moved it over when they put the interstate in. And, and so the, the purpose of the Shunga was not only to draw water for the rich people, but they also hid slaves in the house. And they would go down and get food for the slaves. The, the runaway slaves and stuff. Right. Here. Mary Jane would be on the lookout all the time, going back and forth with her stuff, you know, just to make sure it's okay to get the get the runaways up north. So, uh, so this was actually a stop. Where is the Shunga Trail from here? Is it on the other side of the freeway? Yeah. It's on the okay. Other side of the other side. Just real quickly, and I and I really appreciate your passion. What? Where did your passion start for Richie House? Was it when you were mayor, or when you were a kid, or? Yesterday, what? Tell me real quick. Actually, I, I was a history major in college. Okay. And of course, being the son of a mayor and also mayor myself, uh, I do have a lot of history just within my own family. I wasn't necessarily intrigued with the Ritchie House until I joined the Shawnee County Historical Society, and I became their educational coordinator. Well, that's interesting hearing the son of a mayor because I've been called a son of something, but never son of a mayor. Well, I've been called a lot of things too. <laughs> well, then we're in good company. Uh, I might have been called a few things worse than you have. Oh, you don't know, man. I, I've got a long list of haters. <laughs> At least I don't have Sam Brownback's brother to deal with. Well, I, okay. <laughs> um, you got to admit, this is one of the fun things about living in Topeka, because I'll tell you what, I'm the first one to take a poke at my own self and have a good time, because I'll tell you what, when you start taking yourself too seriously, you end up like Donald Trump with a bad hairpiece. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> All right, Henry McClure for your travel log blog. We're going to go down, interview the band, maybe. Well, you better get your...